Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Today is October the 8th of 2021. I decided I would go black and white today. All right, so listen, I've got my life testimony written out. And um, now, I, I wanted to just get this out, put out today, but um, I just want to encourage you to please go back to my previous video before this one. Go in the comment section of that particular video, the one before this one, where I said, would you please give your testimony? Go in the comment section, please give your testimony of whatever it is the Lord has done for you in your life through Jesus Christ, okay? So, um, well, I didn't tell all everything. Uh, it's, you know, it would just be too long uh, for me to tell you all the things about my life and everything, but I'm just gonna get to the, to the just of it, okay? Okay, my life, and I wrote it all down, so I'm just going to read it to you, all right? My life testimony. It starts out over a century ago that my Father in Heaven carved out a great design for my life. After all, He is the Master Weaver. Nothing is ever happenstance in His creations. At 16 days old, I was adopted by the family the Lord God Almighty chose for me. Father God knew I would need a family that would take me to church and be raised with a foundation rooted in Jesus Christ. Because you see, he had great and wonderful plans to use me in his end time harvest. As a child, I had no way to know that the very songs I would sing in Sunday school or church service would encourage me along my journey at the end of my race. Or how as a child I never could know that my preschool teacher would be the very person I would visit at the end of her life. As she breathed her last breath, I prayed her into heaven, holding her hand. You see, God knows all things from beginning to end. He knew he would place me at her bedside. I am thankful to my Father above for carefully designing my life with every intricate detail planned out before I was ever in my mother's womb. My mom and dad who adopted me gave me the love I needed and cared for me and afforded me all the luxuries in life. We traveled many places as a family and I remember every place we ever went. Good times were those younger days. Skipping ahead to when I am 14 years old, I was at a private school and two of my classmates led me to accept Jesus Christ as my savior. Now you may question, I thought you always went to church. Well, my answer to you would be, yes, I did. But going to church saves no one. Sitting inside of a church building will never stand in place for a relationship with God the Father and His Son, Jesus Christ. The moment I received Jesus Christ as my Savior, I literally felt a physical weight being lifted off my back. I turned around and looked behind me, expecting to see one of my classmates standing there, but there was no one there. The two girls, Beth and Sue, were sitting to the left and right of me. What I felt was the weight of sin and any demonic oppression being lifted off of me, literally. I was amazed. I loved reading the written word of God and would, sp and would spend hours of my days reading and understanding the words because the Holy Spirit was guiding me into the truth and knowledge of what I was reading. All was good for a while. Then, not long after that, my cousin, who was a few years older than me, committed suicide. I did not handle that well, and soon my life spiraled downhill. I became depressed and made very bad choices in my life. Fast forwarding to my 40s. I would pray occasionally and read my Bible when I felt like it. At this point, even after receiving Jesus Christ at 14, I still did not have a personal relationship with him. Don't get me wrong. He saved me many times from certain death and delivered me out of many troubles. But I didn't understand it was his mercy and grace that saved me. You see, 
I still did not understand as of yet his plan he had for me at this end of days we are now living in. It took a dream from the Lord to wake me up. A dream which showed me my lot at the last of my breaths. A dream where I went to hell. That dream woke me up and pulled me to Jesus in such a way that I had never experienced ever before. And let me just interject here if you don't mind. Please go to the description box in this video and I'm going to link my testimony of my dream where I went to hell. Okay? It's very powerful. I encourage you to re to watch it, please. Now, let me get back to my testimony. I now have a relationship with my Savior, and He has been able to fulfill all of His desires for my life now that I surrendered my will to Him. He is now in complete control of my life. I seek His face and direction every day. I walk by faith according to His will and desire, not mine own. It was by my complete surrender that Jesus Christ could finally lead me into the kingdom of heaven. He had always wanted to lead me, but I wanted to be in control. I am here to encourage everyone listening today to hand control over to the one and only one who can lead you into heaven, Jesus Christ, the one and only begotten Son of God the Father Almighty in heaven. All right? There's my testimony, uh, very much shortened down because there's so much more, but this is the gist of it, all right? Uh, so please go in the description box and um, please watch my dream uh, where I give my testimony of, of a dream that I had where I was going to hell. And um, also please go to the previous video before this one where it says give the testimony and once again, please give your testimony. And it's just to encourage one another. And to give all glory to God of what he has done in our lives. All right. God bless you all on this day. God bless your family. God bless your animals. Goodbye.